Shalom Israel, Most High Christ Bless, Most High Christ Bless. So I am coming with you today with a Sabbath friendly meal prep. We're going to be doing overnight oats. Real simple, real easy meal prep. Something you can eat for the Sabbath. Something that's healthy for you as well. So the one thing about overnight oats is it's very customizable so what you're going to need is milk i am using non-dairy milk i'm using coconut milk i do use almond milk and it is the unsweetened kind but i'm using coconut milk because this is what i have open you can use dairy milk if you're one that does dairy i don't do dairy milk so i'm using the coconut milk you can use hemp milk Walnut milk, I wouldn't recommend soy milk, but if that's what you, you have, then you know you can use that. You also can use yogurt. I don't really do a lot of dairy like that. You can also use yogurt as well to customize it. You're gonna need a mason jar, glass is the glass mason jar. So I am using, well, craisins. I'm using craisins with mine. You can use you can use fruit, you can use any type of fruit, you can use mango, strawberries, you can cut up some strawberry in place of the raisins, you don't have to use raisins if you want, this is what I'm putting in. You can use blueberries, raspberries, you can chop them up and put those in there instead of using raisins. I am using the old fashioned 100% whole grain oatmeal. Also, I'm using chia seeds, hemp seeds, and this is very customizable, so I will be sprinkling some cinnamon in mine, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg, and this is optional, a little bit of allspice, and vanilla. Okay. So start off with oh and also I almost forgot this is black seed it's ground black seed just bring some ground black seed in as well so okay so I'm gonna start off with the oats first and this here so this here is a fourth of a cup that I am scooping it with because it's a small enough for the mason jar So, we'll say about like half a cup. So, I'm using three scoops of the one fourth, so a little over a half a cup of oat, of your oatmeal. Okay, so going to be sprinkling in chia seeds. Sprinkle in a little bit of chia seeds. I'll say about like maybe a teaspoon of chia seeds. Next, going to be sprinkling in some hemp seeds. Me, I'll say this is about a tablespoon of hemp seeds. Okay, so next going to sprinkle in a little bit of the ground flexi. I'll say like a teaspoon of the flexi.
And I'm starting with my dry ingredients first. I'm gonna sprinkle in a little bit of cinnamon. And this is optional, you don't have to use it. Going to be sprinkling in just a little bit of nutmeg. And just a little bit of allspice. This is optional. It's just what I like in mine. Just a tad of allspice. Well, no, I'm going to sprinkle in a little bit of these raisins. So I'm going to say like a handful of raisins. And these are the craisins. I'm really not a raisins fan, but these here, they taste, I, I like the way these taste. So I'll say like a handful of craisins. Now again, you don't have to use this. You're more than welcome to instead of craisins. You can use blueberries. They're really good blueberries. Raspberries, you even can do banana. You can cut up some banana. You can use mango in, in place of that. Okay, so this is what it's looking like so far. All right, so now we're going to add our wet ingredients. So, I'm going to pour, and this is unsweetened coconut milk now also mine's is unsweetened I don't really like using a lot of sugar so you know feel free to add a little bit of sugar to your liking I'm trying to not use a lot of sugar if I don't have to the craisins are sweet enough for me that's gonna do it for me but you adjust it to your liking also when you add the fruit the fruit already has sugar in it so you know when I do add fruit to mine I don't add any sugar because the sugar is already in fruit and that's just the type of sweetness that's good enough for me. So we're going to cover the, you want to cover it with the milk. So cover it with the milk and it's going to get to the bottom. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm also just going to take a spoon just to make sure everything, all the liquid is reaching the bottom. Now, I'm just doing a spoon because we're on camera. Other than that, I was to put the lid on it and shake it up. But I'm just using the spoon on it so, you know, y'all can get a good look at it. Okay, so you want to make sure you cover it. So when it's covered, and what I do is I add just a little bit more milk. So all together, I'll say maybe a cup of milk. Now, what's going to happen is the milk, you're not going to put this and everything is room temperature while the milk was, you know, refrigerated. So this is it for me. I'm, you know... Feel free to add anything else that you like, but with me, this I'm good. So you place the lid on it. And I'm just going to give it a little bit more of a shake. So what's going to happen is you're going to put it in the fridge and you're going to place it in the fridge for at least six hours or overnight. So this is Sabbath prepping. So Friday before the sun go down, you can go ahead and do this prepping prepare it, place it in the fridge. What's going to happen is the oats and also the chia seeds, they're going to soak up all the liquid in it. And it's going to be an oatmeal for you. It's really good. I like it. I've made it for my Lord sometimes for him. So this is overnight oats, vegetarian, dairy free. And Sabbath friendly. So, just gonna place it in the fridge, and you got you a meal prep. It's good for the kids. 
You know, just all of that. All right, Israel. Well, thanks for watching my video, fam. Shalom, most high in Christ's blood.